And in Augusta today, two Native American tribes withdrew their delegations from the legislature in protest over their treatment by the state. WMTW News 8's Courtney Sturgeon was in Augusta today with what this means for state and tribal relations. Representatives Wayne Mitchell of the Penobscot Nation and Matthew Dana of the Passamaquoddy Tribe walked out of the House of Representatives today saying they're frustrated with Governor LePage's administration. Last month, Governor LePage rescinded a 2011 executive order that said tribes would be consulted on issues concerning Native American people. Some tribal leaders tell us this is just one of many issues tribes have clashed with the governor on in the past few years. Others include differences over fishing quotas and gambling. Tribal representatives cannot not vote in the House, but their vote counts in committee and they're allowed to introduce bills, which is why the Holton Band of Maliseets will continue to send a representative despite the Penobscot and Passamaquoddy's departure from the legislature. These are uh, sovereign nations and tribes. Uh, they have uh, a long history uh, of uh, being self determining and self sufficient, and uh, they'll, they'll do well notwithstanding. Uh, however, uh, this is a somber time when they have to take uh, such a, uh, a dramatic, uh, you know, action as they've done today. Uh, again, we, as a, as a Maliseet people, understand uh, their their position, and, and uh, we fully support them. In a statement today, Governor LePage's administration says it's committed to tribal sovereignty, but since the 2011 executive order, tribal leaders haven't been cooperating with the state. In Augusta, Courtney Sturgeon, WMTW News 8.